For some reason, the most common question that I've been asked is when am I going to use math in real life? I, I can't, I can't even tell you how many times I've had people come up to me and ask me, you know, when are they going to use a specific technique that they're learning for the language of mathematics? When are they going to use that in real life? And, um, you know, depending on who they are, I answer them, you know, if I know anything, anything of them, I answer them in a specific way, right? If they're, you know, they want to go into sciences, we get into sciences. If they want to go into music, you get into music. If they want to go into um, whatever it is, athletics, you can go into athletics. If you want to go into art, we go into art, okay? And that's what we're going to do in this series is look into where mathematics is used in art or could be used in art or could be used to produce art or to produce furniture or do design okay and that's where we're going to go with this series just to give you an example and this is uh, one place that we're going to come to a lot uh, he's a friend of mine and um, you know the way I got to know him was uh, you know I ran into him at a party with a conversation we really hit it off and I checked out his website and uh, I saw his art and it blew me away. So he's agreed for us to get together, um, you know, a handful of times and go over some of the techniques that he uses to create some of his art, to create some of his furniture. And just to give you an example, everything you see behind me, except for the walls, was made by Dirk. And I don't know about you, but I see mathematics and it's beautiful. <laughs> Marwig, Marwig, Dirk Marwig, Dirk Marwig. You're yeah. German. Yeah, yeah. Dirk Marwig, German. Where? I'm from. Uh, well, I was born in Bochum, uh, but my family they moved to the States when I was young. You know. Is that south Bochum? No, yeah, yeah. Bochum is by Cologne. Cologne. Okay. Uh, okay. You, you know, like in yeah, well that area. Yeah. Okay. You know, um, at the age of you know 21, I moved to uh, New York City. In 1972. No, uh, that uh, that was from uh, 1982 to 1990. I mean, I lived in in yeah, New York City. Yeah. No, that was I a crazy know. time. A lot of stuff was coming out of New York. Yeah, uh, there's. I mean, I was young. You know, I, you know, I, I wanted to you know be an artist. I always was. You know, that was my ambition. Always, um, as an eight year old, uh, I want to be an artist. I want to be an artist, and that's you know, uh, like in the early 80s. You know, I mean, that was the place. You know, where everything was happening. You know, Jean Michel Basquiat. In New York, yeah. specifically, yeah. Um, Andy Warhol, you know, you know, Julian Schnabel and all those uh, you know, people. Uh, yeah. I knew some of them. You knew some of them, yeah? Oh, yeah. But uh, it's, you know, I was always, <laughs> it was, I'm a cave guy, you know, I don't, you know, I, um, I like music and I like to socialize and I like, you know, uh, then, you know, to, you know, uh, you know, work in my studio. You know, for days on end without seeing anybody. Yeah, yeah. So that's just lose funny. yourself in it. Eh? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. otherwise it doesn't work. Did you do that in New York? Did you have a chance to do that in New York? Yeah, well, I mean, I worked as a bike messenger, you know, uh, to, make, <laughs> uh, to make ends meet. And then I, you know, had a, you know, uh, then I had a career as a as a model, but it didn't work out. Because oh. I, was, I was too skinny, too tall, or whatever. <laughs> I tried. I was thinking, why not? I tried everything. Oh, that's good. And then I, uh, because my girlfriend, you know, she was very, very beautiful, I made her some jewelry out of plastic. Out of, you know, Fimo. What's Fimo? Uh, Fimo um, is this, is this, uh, well, it's like a clay that you bake in the oven. Okay. And it comes in various colors and whatever. I mean, I made the first, you know, things for my girlfriend and, she, you know, people, you know, really... You know, they said, wow, where'd you get that? And then, you know, she said, you know, why don't you make a collection and then, you know, sell it somewhere. Okay. So, uh, so I made a small collection and, and I, you know, took it to various, you know, stores, you know, uh, and there's one store on Madison Avenue. Okay. Uh, sort of up in the 70s and the lady, you know, she really liked it. Then she uh, put them down on consignment. Oh, nice. Uh, and then like a week after, uh, 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 like everything was sold out. And so I made more, and then I made more, and then um, uh, then you know one of the uh, uh, one of the pieces you know finally like ended up on the cover of Vogue. Oh no way! And I, uh, because you know, the people who you know uh, you know you know you shop the accessories. Yeah, yeah. You know they go to all the stores, you know you know to pick out stuff for the, you know for the fashion shoots. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and so uh, yeah, then uh, then I was contacted by Mark Jacobs. And he's uh, who's and, Mark and Mark Jacobs is a famous you know fashion designer. Oh okay. okay. And he's 
I mean, you know, you know, uh, you know. Then he was unknown. Okay. And now this he's is a late giant. 80s. This is late eighties. Uh, this is yeah, mid eighties. Mid eighties, mid eighties. Okay. Or late eighties. Late eighties. Okay. Yeah. And now uh, he's a giant. Oh, oh man, he's. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, huge. I mean, okay. can find his stuff everywhere. Okay. 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 Cool. <laughs> you know, for his you know spring show of nineteen eighty eight, I did his, uh, like you know, all the jewelry that the women wore. Uh, you know, the no models. Way. For the uh, runway models? Mm -hmm. oh, and wow. I painted, you know, the shoes. I bought these um, Yves Saint Laurent silk, you know, um, satin pumps. Okay, yeah. Uh, and they were white, and I just, you know, you know, you know, painted them like crazy. Oh, wow, crazy. And they looked really, really cool with, the, you, know, um, you know, with the jewelry, too. Oh, yeah, you know, okay, the, okay. You know, whatever I made. And so, you know, um, I thought, well, I mean, this is, you know, I was working my ass off. Yeah. Uh, um, I had lots of, um, you know, shops, I mean, not uh, shops like uh, um, New York, uh, yeah, Barney's, you know, they bought from me, okay. like, a, like a whole collection. So I was like working all the time. Oh, my God. I and was, doing it all yourself. You weren't all farming myself. any of it. Yeah, um, yeah you're no, not no. farming any of it out. No, you're doing it all yourself. Oh, my is. God, that must be draining. And like all these magazines, they wanted my stuff, so I was, you know, flying stuff to, you know, to, you know, to Paris, uh, to London, oh, nice. you know, to Vogue. They were taking pictures of it. And the colors, like one thing, one thing I noticed with your art is is not just the, not just the patterns, not not just the grids, but the colors. Mm -hmm. You you mix the colors within the grids, like you were talking about before, mm -hmm. when you said you do contrast, you try to balance out, bring mm -hmm. give depth give depth basically no i mean i always uh you try you know like in a painting or in something you know the yellow you know for me has to come from the lower uh, left hand you know to the like uh, and on the upper you know uh, right okay so you left right <laughs> i'm sort of you know you just like yeah. so, <laughs> so i never know what what is it and then so so yeah, it goes from the, the yellow goes from the bottom? Uh, yeah, to the top, uh, or like, you know, two focal points. Oh, okay, 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 um, yeah. Uh, uh, um, you know, yellow here, and and the yellow here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, the blue here, and the blue here, also. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yellow, yellow, blue, blue. Yeah. Or, yeah, blue, green, you know, whatever, you know, you know, whatever. And in the center, um, it's always red. Uh, you know, red and orange, right? Oh, so okay. you know, you know that sort of, you know, even if it's you know flat, you yeah. know, you know, uh, uh, then you can actually, you know, have a sense of dimension. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but you know, that's you know, you know how the colors work on the eye. So that's that's how you work. That you tried yeah. three different combinations. Yeah, yeah. You must have tried like a few different combinations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah but it's uh, there's like a simple pattern, you know, to everything. Oh, I yeah. think. Yeah, there is. That, that's my. And I don't want to, you know. You know I mean, I want to, you know, get, uh, uh, I mean, with my work, um, you know, something that is, you know, flat, I want that to appear, you know, you're dimensional. Okay, yeah. You know, you're just, you know, through the use of color. That's it? Yeah. Okay. And like yeah. overlaying the colors. You know, it's... So your purpose for the grids, so one of your purp your main purpose for the grids is to lay down your colors. Well, yet uh, is it or and, uh, well uh, for uh, me to uh, more like understand, you know, you know the size of you know canvas I'm working with, oh. you know, to figure out okay where you know something goes, yeah, uh, the colors, yeah, for example, you know, okay. or the lines, how they should go, you oh. know, because I don't like to repeat myself. I do one painting, you know, uh, um, you know, with an idea, and that's it, okay, you know. You walk away from it. Uh, Done you know, or not. Uh, not a second one, not a third one. If it's a second one or a third one, I like alter stuff. Yeah. Uh, 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 so that there's a new concept. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, mu it must make things uh, way more efficient, way, way easier to see if you set up one grid and then you adjust your grid. Mm -hmm. And that would change the pattern. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. that, would, uh, that would, you know, uh, that would, you know, the brain, you know, yeah. would go, uh, <laughs> what's happening now? Yeah. I and mean, that's really... Especially when you see it's see one of them, and then the adjustment, uh -huh. and then the adjustment, this optical illusion almost. Yes, it is an optical illusion. Uh -huh. I, mean, I mean, that's what painting is, and basically like anything. Just basically anything. <laughs> do, you mix, do you mix stuff, uh, mix adjustments within paintings? Well, well, adjustments well, of the grids well, within well, paintings? Well, that's what I was you know, trying to do on the painting that I'm working on here. 
Okay. Um, inside. Which one? The blue one? No, here. This oh, one. the one in the. Oh, you know what, Dirk? Uh, let's let's do it indoors. Okay. Let's do it indoors. Okay.